I actually want to watch it. It actually looks pretty good. I'm going to be honest. Like, it's, some of the things they say are pretty based, even though the characters are not based at all. They're, like, very... Let's just say college-educated. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, hold up. I know I left this door open. See the horror film. Preview audiences are calling a killer experience. One man. She, I one love. Man. I love the fucking face. The, the fucking face. Oh, uh, what the hell was that on the on the board? That you was blackface. You see the chitlin? That was. I just saw. No. I just saw that go by. Yeah, that's that's one no, of the things we caught the it. first time um, we watched it. It was like holy the, shit. The face. The, it's just literally like a menstrual show. Black. Holy shit. shit. Yeah. It, I just saw that. That's jarring. That's great. It's like Sambo, isn't it? It's something like that. Sambo, I think. Something like that. What do you call that? I don't know. It looks face. like. I don't know. It looks like my mom's cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> the black character is always the first to die. I will spare your lives if you sacrifice the. They're all black though. The blackest guys. I can prove them. That's black the black beauty black. of the movie. <laughs> Dude, I I love that they're like sacrifice whoever's the blackest, and they turn to the the most white of all of them. <laughs> this guy. They, they should it. They should have had one white person to be the first one to die in this movie. I would have respected that. He would have been the stupidest person you ever committed to film. Like yeah. that's how they always all these black TV shows. I remember growing up, they always had one white guy and he was borderline retarded. That's how they always portray white people. They're either evil, the bad guy, or they're retarded. No, yep. and they'll call you the racist. <laughs> Dude, this is like one of my favorite parts right here. The way she reacts to this. I thought black Twitter was a type of seasoning. I like Jimmy Fallon without the roots. And wrong. I voted for Trump. What? What, what the fuck? Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> she attacks him over voting for Trump twice. I'm, 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 I'll allow it. I'm I'll allow it. I'm annoyed. I'm okay with it. No, I'm okay. If you know what it is, and you know what the movie is, and you're not trying to subvert something, I'm okay with it. I'm a, I'm I I want to no, see this movie. It's it's secretly kind of based. <laughs> like how's it based? Look, no, cuz like look at what the the movie is commenting on these these stereotypes. They're making they're making fun of the stereotype that's a legit stereotype, but they're making fun of it. I, well, they're I'm mocking here. the white, the black guy acting white, who's no, clearly no, just supposed to be a white guy. This isn't even them this like okay, you're reading this the scene backwards. This scene's not mocking him. It's painting him as the most normal person in the room. And he's like, I voted for Trump twice. But they're like, the way he's playing it up, he's supposed to be like the nerdy black guy stereotype, right? So he's basically playing a white nerd. Yes, yes. He's black people don't act like this. Well, you know, if you ever meet one that's uh, a black guy, yeah, that's a real person that exists. Blurds are a person or a type yeah. of person. And that's what he's playing. <laughs> And that's see that scene doesn't even it doesn't even aim at him. It makes you think that they're making fun of him, and suddenly this bitch outbursts, and you're just like, ah, this fucking fat black lady's gonna beat somebody like every single KFC on the fucking continent. <laughs> this this feels to me like it's like a two, 2023 black exploitation movie, and those were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And like you know, I'm gonna get you, sucker. Is still one of my favorite movies. That's of all a great time. movie. Still, that still holds up. It would. It would either like they're either gonna kill this guy off really quickly, or like he ends up being the only one that survives because <laughs> he's no. not like a stereo. He's just like a normal dude, really. Like he's just kind of a little shy. See, I movie. would like it. I would like it if through the throughout the entire movie, he just went through the movie being a normie and not seeing any of the stuff that everybody else is seeing, and he's just normie guy. Yeah, I would the, love the, that. If the movie knows what it is, all right, I'm along for the ride. But right now, I got my doubts on this fucking thing. The, the other trailer, like, was a little more less about the audience reaction, more about the movie. It's it's great. Mm. Like. It just, it's, they lean into stereotypes left and right, just for the laughs, it's Your great. time is up, it's time to die. Let's go! Where do we go? Call the cops. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, no, if, if this is what I think it is, and I think that's what this is, I, I will not only watch it, I will, 
I hate going to the movie theater. I will go to the movie theater to watch this just to give them money mm -hmm. for making a film that makes fun of all of the stupid shit that goes in on in the media when it comes to black people. Yeah. I'm seeing it there. I don't know. I'm I got I got maybe I got to look at a different trailer, but I'm not seeing I'm not yeah, seeing Yeah, go back and watch the the are. full trailer, not the uh, audience yeah. trailer. It's yeah. pretty and those it's are pretty funny. Those are so freaking stupid. You do you do you expect me to believe the well, audience in the the whole theater went when oh I voted for Trump they all just started screaming like this is such bullshit. No, it's just it's hype. It's like you do this for a movie that you don't have a big marketing budget for, so you just take I, some cameras and do a thing. I realize that, but that's just stupid fucking editing. I mean, like, they used you to really do, think the they, whole audience. Remember they did that for Paranormal Activity back in the day. Yeah, I know. I'm saying it's stupid. This I know the technique. This, the, but it's stupid. Like you. You want everybody to believe, like, you really, that, that's why I'm, like, having my doubts. Well, that's the part you decided to focus on. Is like, I voted for Trump. You want me to believe the whole audience went, oh, my God. That's a, I mean. That, that was racist. Sorry, everybody. That's a, a hot button issue, right? So I, I get why they would do that, because it's like, you know. People the hot would, button is in 2016. It still is, like, though. Really Dude, the media won't let it die. The media won't fucking stop talking about well, Trump. And that's my point. Like, that's why I think this is not as fucking base as you think it is. But can they would this have also gotten a trailer average... company that cuts shit, you know, that doesn't have anything to do with true, the actual people who make the movie. So, you know, very true. Like I said, a go, a go back, of... watch the original trailer. It's a much better feel for what the movie is going to be like. A couple of things on the audience, audience reaction. First of all, you would have gotten a lesser reaction if it wouldn't have been a marketing company having people come in to watch it. Second of all, you would have gotten a lesser reaction if he would have said, I voted for Trump. But then he waited a few seconds and then went twice <laughs> also it was a, it looked like it was a black audience so you know oh yeah yeah that's true they you know <laughs> you, you, know. you know okay i've been around such things and <laughs> and you know that jump scare could have come at any point in the movie and they could have just edited it in yeah. for him to say trump yeah that's very true there could have been something completely unrelated <laughs> we need a plan let's get some weapons Wait, chili powder girl? What I'm finna do, cook? Sorry, girl, we went on that. Did you see that? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> see, hold on, I gotta go back for that. That was pretty great. Chili powder, okay, girl, I'm, I'm back in. Cook? Sorry, girl, we went on that. <laughs> It's the nerd guy too. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm in. How I'm in. Not, okay, thank you. How could you not want to watch this? I'm actually legitimately excited for this movie. Yeah, this looks okay, great. He won me over. All right. Okay. You should just when you clip this, Ken, you should tile it. The burnt popcorn is not racist. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that'll make us look great. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of people in the audience that don't get the joke. I'll be right back. I guarantee you, too, that was another cut from a different scene. <laughs> they did it. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no, no, no. Go back. Go back about 10 seconds. They did exactly what I just said. They have one white guy in the movie and watch. Listen to what he says. Can we just go? Lock the doors, get down. I'll be right back. Oh, it's him too? Oh, I love that yep. guy. Is that the dude from Drew Carey show? <laughs> yeah, they, and from uh, did... whose line is anyways? Well, oh, oh, and um, uh, Napoleon Dynamite? Rex no. something or whatever? No, I don't think he was in Napoleon Dynamite. Yeah, he was. He was, was the instructor, Dynamite. He's the karate instructor. Yeah. Was he? You think I go home to Darla because I just like Peter Pan over here? I'm be honest. About it. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. He was the one that wore the uh, American flag Z Cavaricis. Yeah. yeah. Diedrich Bader. Thank you, Nacho. Bow to your sensei. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I'm, I'm excited for that movie. Right. <laughs> I had my doubts, but that uh, that that one scene, that that got me. Okay, I'm in. <laughs>